لله رب العالمين صلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم was narrated many hadith. قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم بدأ الإسلام غريبا وسيعود غريبا كما بدأ فتوبي للغرباء. قيل ومن غرباء يا رسول الله؟ قال الذين يصلحون إذا فسد الناس. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وسلم said that Islam began strange and it will return in a strange way, similar to the way that it began. So give glad tidings to the strangers. Then the companions they asked, رضي الله تعالى عنهم أجمعين. ومن غرباء يا رسول الله هو the strangers يا رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم. فقال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم he said those who rectify the affairs after the people have ruined them or spread fasad. Or wickedness. Ruahu Muslim. In this hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the ulama of Ahlul Sunnah, the Salaf al-Saleh, from the Sahaba, radiyallahu taala anhum, like Ibn Abbas, and many of the Tabi'in, Jahid, Wahidim, they said that the term Tuba or Tuba has different meanings. And all of them are basically around, uh, related to being, as it's often translated, glad tidings. But most of the tafsirs that I found related to this word dealt with being uh, righteous with them and having, being khair lahum, you know, giving, being uh, righteous with them and good with them and so forth. So it lets us know that this, the meaning is very broad in its meaning. And the scholars, they explain that this hadith, that the ghuraba, the strangers, that those are the people who, tamasik bi kitab illa wa sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that those are the people who adhere to the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the kitab illa, the book of Allah, the speech of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that giving glad time, glad tidings to those strangers, those people who, after it has become strange to practice the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi because this hadith doesn't mean, as the 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 shur, uh, shurrah have explained, that this hadith doesn't mean that Islam is no longer present or that Islam has become so weak, but in fact. It is the people from Islam, meaning that they have went astray with bid'ah. Some of them have uh, went astray in their minhaj, their methodology in giving da'wah to Allah, and their methodology of understanding Islam. And some of them have went away from the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And some of them have went away by went astray by going, deviating from the aqidah of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah, the aqidah which comes from Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam by starting new manahij, new ways of giving da'wah, new uh, groups and sects. For example, in the early times of Islam, you had the Khawarij, those people who made takfir of the Muslims for their uh, major sins, and you had the Shia, those people who had uh, adhered and believed Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu to have uh, uh, you know, a higher status than Uthman and, and the other Khulafa Rashidin radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een and then the Amr or the affairs got even worse than that to where some of them began to worship Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een and then you have the Qadariya those people who denied the creed, the Qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the, the Qadr, the divine creed of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then you had people like the Jahamiyyah and the Mu'tazila and the later later on the Asha'ira, those people who denied some of the uh, sifat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Some of them, like the Jahamiyyah, denied them in totality that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, has divine sifat and attributes. And the 
uh, Martezila, who said that the person who commits the major sins is between uh, uh, between a manzilatain, that they're iman, that they are neither disbelievers nor are they mu'mins, but in fact they are, uh, but they're still going to go to the hellfire internally. So all of these deviant creeds, so then it, when the affair became like this, when it became to where people had deviated from Islam so much, that when you see people holding on to Kitabillah wa Sunnah Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam, it becomes an obligation upon you to to have love for them, an obligation uh, upon us to treat them with kindness and good manners, and an obligation to give them salam and work and ta'awin with them. Allah bira wa taqwa, as Allah subhanahu wa taala says, because they're on the minhaj of Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam. They're in the methodology of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And the Prophet Wasallam, when he was asked about who are the ghuraba, who are these strangers, the Prophet Wasallam said, Alladina yaslahuna ida fasad al nas. Those are the people who rectify the, the people's affairs and rectify the conditions and rectify the affairs and rectify the wickedness when it has become widespread. That when the people have went astray, that those people call the people back to Kitabillah wa Sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, wa min haja salaf asali. Those people call the people back to the salaf, to the methodology of the salaf, on how they give da'wah, and how they had good manners with one another, how, how they were uh, merciful with one another and with Ahl Islam, and how they call even the non, uh, non-Muslims to Islam and to Tawheed. To, to and this is the, the affair of Ahl Sunnah. And this is how, this is the minhaj of the Salaf al And this is the minhaj al Anbiya, the Anbiya Allah, who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, لَقَدْ بَعْثْنَا فِي كُلِّ أُمَّةِ رَسُولًا إِنْ نَعْبُدُ اللَّهَ وَاجْتَنِبُ تَعْقُودُ That we sent to every nation a messenger to call to Allah and of, uh, stay away from those people and those things worship besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the ghuraba that the mustaqbal is for them. Anna mustaqbala lil islami bi minhaj al salaf al kiram min. This shows us the statement of Sheikh Abu Husam al Salim ibn Eid al Hilali, Hafidullah Ta'ala, when he was explaining this hadith, he made it clear that the future is for Ahl Sunnah and the Salaf al that they will, they are the ones who adhere to Kitab al Sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and they are the ones who, as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in another hadith, لا تزال طائفة من أمتي ظاهرين على حق حتى يأتيهم الله يأتيهم عمر الله وهم على ذلك وكما قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم that Ahl Sunnah, there will always be, be present, there will always be throughout all times, even if they're few. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and bless us to be from Ahl Sunnah, those who are mutamasikina bi kitabillah wa sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.